Good morning! Starting off the day with a coffee. I usually use instant coffee, it's the only coffee we have at home. And then I just microwave it to get the water warm. And I like to put three spoons of cashew milk and half a package of Splenda in there to get my morning coffee. To talk a little quiet because Abe is still sleeping and I'm actually hungry already but I can't decide what to eat. I always have my set meals during the day but I don't have set times for the meals. I always start with whatever I'm craving and I don't know yet if I'm craving eggs and toast or oatmeal. I don't know yet. And the eggs and toast breakfast one. I have three slices of Sara Lee bread toasted for about like three minutes. Uh, to that 80 grams of egg whites with five grams of butter. Butter is beneficial to you if you don't eat too much. It has lots of necessary vitamins and saturated fats healthy saturated fats. To that some avocado, 50 grams. Avocado is a great source for omega-3. And some cream cheese on the side. I use some full fat cream cheese right now. All of that together is a little more than 300 calories supposed to fill you up. It has 20 grams of protein and I try to keep all my meals around 20 grams of protein at least. Healthy fats, fats in general to help you stay full. And you could of course put the avocado and cream cheese right on the toast, but I like to have it separate because otherwise the toast gets soggy. Just a little tip. I'm about to go to the gym, but before I do that, I'll have another meal or like snack, I guess. Because yesterday I didn't finish all my macros and calories, but no problem, I can just make up for it today. And what I didn't finish yesterday is my night snack. I love having protein pancakes as my night snack. I always prep them and then I freeze them and just toast them whenever I need it. But since this is my last pancake, I need to prep some new ones. And I already talked about um, the recipe a couple of times, but I never showed it. So since this one is my last one, I'm gonna prep some more right now for one, two, three, four, five more days. For that, I take five big bowls. Big ones are necessary because you wanna mix it up completely. And then in each bowl, I usually put 40 grams of Kodiak cake pancake mix. It's the protein style one. And I do that in separate bowls because then you have the most accurate measurements for each pancake serving. So you take 40 grams of pancake mix with one egg in each bowl. Then I also use 10 grams of honey. Honey is amazing for before going to bed because it contains melatonin, what helps you sleep at night. So I take 10 grams of that and 20 grams of water, not more, sometimes even less, so that they stay nice and thick and that they get pancake-like and not crap-like. Because last time I used too much water and they got a little soggy and fluffy. Nice and big, but very thin. And then also don't forget to sweeten it a little bit. I forgot that the last time and then I had to sweeten it after. But I just like to have everything in the mix already so that you just have to toast them and can eat them right away. Yeah, that's it. Then mix everything together and I pan fry them in two pans just to make the whole process go a little quicker. And that's it. There you have your pancakes. It took me about 20 minutes to prep and I'm good to go for the next five days. Here we go, everything's nice and clean again. This, by the way, is my tripod that I always use for the camera because it fits just perfect. Here are the pancakes, delicious. And now, since they cooled down already, I can just freeze them so that they are ready for me every night when I'm ready to eat again. And I'm ready to eat right now. 100 grams of banana with butter and Splenda. And here the last pancake, a little thin. And since this is the last one I forgot to sweeten, I will put some of this vanilla syrup on top. It is French vanilla, sugar-free, and I got it at, I think it was Marshall's. Marshall's or TJ Maxx, I don't remember, but I'll eat that now and then I'll train upper body. It's gonna be my last workout for this week. Um, Saturday, Sunday, I don't work out muscles. I do some cardio sometimes, but yeah, that's it. All right, I had a great workout. Um, today I really focused on the mind-muscle connection and the control of the movement. I did a little higher reps 
entire set. I did seven sets per exercise and I really felt it. So right now I'm back and I'm gonna eat my post-workout meal again. Here I have a serving of cereals. I like to have fast carbs after my workout. So I let myself have some cereals. I love cereals. This is though my almost last serving after that. I need to get new ones. And then I also have some protein here. 20 grams of protein powder with 50 grams of egg whites mixed together. Becomes like a protein mousse. Today I used too much water though, so it's a little, <laughs> a little too watery. That I'll also have a rice cake that I use as a spoon to eat it. And then I'll have to meal prep a little for today, tomorrow and Sunday. Because uh, tomorrow and Sunday, the weekends, I'm usually the busiest and out of the house the whole day. So I'm gonna prep some broccoli, rice, chicken and beef or salmon for all of those meals. It's not that hard though because I have my rice prepped already. One meal of each day is gonna have rice, the other one has pasta. It shouldn't take longer than 15 minutes. I just have to cook the vegetables, throw everything together. And tonight I will head out too, so I need some food for that. I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna have two more caramel rice cakes right now. Ta-da! Here we go. So this is for today. I will have some pasta with broccoli and salmon, some rice with chicken and broccoli. This is for tomorrow. Uh, there I'll have all the broccoli with some beef and pasta. And here rice with chicken and salad and a tortilla on the side. I would have the tortilla today too, but I had the caramel rice cakes instead earlier. And then for Sunday again, rice, pasta, broccoli and beef and rice, broccoli and chicken. Looks good right and I'm also gonna take some peanut butter with me today and a yogurt let me see do I want do I want blueberry vanilla or strawberry cheesecake so my favorite one is strawberry cheesecake and we're gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow so I'm gonna eat that up because then I can buy some more tomorrow <laughs> so this comes with me and before I eat that I will have some oatmeal with cinnamon and stevia right now. It's 40 grams of oatmeal cooked in 80 grams of egg whites. This could have been my breakfast today. Instead I had the toast and eggs. That a nice and hot green tea. Yeah. And I'm ready to head out. And where I'm heading right now is to church. So Abe is a worship pastor, right? So he's working at church and tonight we have a so-called coffee and worship. It's like a youth event. We all just meet up. We have coffee there, we have cookies and cake there and there's a little worship with also a little like speak or preaching. It's always very nice and very cozy but we usually meet there for a couple of hours. That's why I bring my food and it also called me right now saying that he's hungry, he didn't get to eat today. So I'm gonna make him some bagel bites. Those things here right now, he loves them. I'll bring him that. Yeah, then the day is already over, I guess. That's how my Friday looks like. By the way, when you go to church, never forget your notebook. <laughs> that was nice. Abe played amazing, like always, right? So we had a couple of treats there, snacks, as I said, they had like little Rice Krispies. We had some leftovers, so I was supposed to take them home for it. he loves them. Then they also had hot chocolate there, very nice, and you could put in there your own even more chocolate sauce and caramel sauce and whipped cream. Amazing, right? Mm, and besides that, for like an icebreaker, we played a little game, and this game included Fruit Loops. But since we didn't use all the Fruit Loops, I got the rest for home. That makes my day, huh? So Fruit Loops aren't my favorite cereals, but for free, I'll take them, right? And as I said earlier today, our Fruit Loops are almost out, so perfect timing. Um, I'm waiting for April right now because we had to take two cars since he was at church already when I left here. And as soon as he's home, we will have a TV night. TV night. I'll try to get him to watch Crazy Rich Asians. Wish me luck. I actually got Abe to watch Rise Rich Agents last night. Problem was though that it's not online yet. I don't know if they still show it in the cinemas, but you can't buy it online yet. Unfortunately, so sad because I was reading the book right now and I really wanted to watch the movie now. Anyway, I'll have to wait. Next morning, six o'clock, very early, very tired. Still, we're gonna start the day. I haven't finished my pancakes last night again, so I had them right now again. Two of those already prepped pancakes I prepped yesterday. So one egg, 40 grams of Kodiak cake with some water and 10 grams of honey in the microwave for like five seconds. And then I toasted them for about four to five minutes. Just delicious. To that, a green tea. And then I'm also gonna take my food with me I prepped yesterday. Pasta, broccoli and beef, rice, 
salad and chicken with a tortilla wrap and I'm also gonna take with me some overnight oats I prepped yesterday just 40 grams of oats with 80 grams of egg whites and as a snack I'll also have a banana with some peanut butter and a Greek yogurt all of that in my nicely packed of wrapped lunch bag I got it on Amazon like two years ago for I guess 20 dollars and it does its job yeah that's it that will be my day for the next eight to nine hours so I'm not the biggest cook and especially not the best baker that's why I usually stick to my meals and my foods that I know how to cook them and how to make them delicious but I watched a video right now it is German by the way and the girl in there she made a cake a like breakfast cake breakfast protein cake to be exact and it looked very delicious plus it has amazing macros since I looked up the recipe I could compare that to like the foods I'm eating and I can actually use a couple of those foods to make this cake I had to switch around things a little bit I used 130 grams of egg whites I eat egg whites every day mix it up to get it stiff in another bowl I took 20 grams of protein powder what I use anyway after my workouts always uh, with a Greek yogurt one cup in the video she used a quark maga quark that's something German but I've never seen it here in America so I just took my Greek yogurt vanilla flavor mixed that together with some water and then I mixed that into the egg whites plus I used some more sweetener and also some salt mixed all of that together and poured it in a cake form I didn't do the best job getting the egg white stiff unfortunately i was too hungry but i hope it will still turn out quite okay anyway i filled all of that in the cake form and then i put 100 grams of banana on there what i also eat every day in the video i watched the girl was using strawberries i think and frozen strawberries but it's quite the same right so i guess we are good I'm trying to bake a protein cake right now and I really do not know if it's gonna turn out. I should stop baking. Trying. Stop. Bake. <laughs> I'll be back, okay? Okay. Anyway, this is in the oven right now. Um, let me see. It looks pretty nice already. Okay, here we go. It's alright, right? Oh! Maybe it's finished already. I don't know. I'll leave it in there a couple more minutes. And you know, if that will taste okay I will be thrilled because it has amazing macros it is high protein low carb especially if you substitute the banana with other fruits or no fruits at all and no no fat at all no fat is important but then you can eat more peanut butter right just saying okay before I show it to you I need to say that I had a little bit of a pickle to get it out of the form because it is it is very sensitive the cake is sensitive so when I flipped it over and back into place it got sticked or stacked on the plate and I ripped it a little bit but I was already able to try a little bit and it tastes so delicious so this is Kind of vanilla strawberry banana flavored right now it looks more like a pancake than a cake but does it matter no as long as it's delicious the macros for the whole cake are 31 grams of carbs 2 grams of fat and 41 grams of protein so in general i have 300 calories here but if i would substitute the banana for something else or leave it out i would only have around 200 calories and save 20 grams of carbs so this is amazing and it tastes great oh and by the way I'm not gonna go work out today and after my workout I like to have cereals instead of cereals post-workout I'll have two crumbled caramel rice cakes now in cashew milk as my snack with a cake all right since I'm not gonna go work out today I'm off the gym I'll take this little thing and I'll foam roll for one hour that's the plan there I want to do left and right quad left and right hamstring left and right butt I guess and uh, then back from both sides and uh, biceps and triceps what should bring me to an hour so yeah wish me luck the last 
stop for me today will be to go to the grocery store with Abe and we always get the same things every week we like to stick to our basics and I have my grocery list here and check mark just the things we need today we need bananas, lemon juice, avocado, spinach, bread, some rice um, we still have caramel rice cakes and I need a new pancake mix Greek yogurt, eggs, egg white milk, cashew milk and I think then we are good to go yeah and that's how I will conclude this Saturday, my Saturday it's already rather late, it's almost 7 so after we come back from the grocery store I'll just head to bed because I'm gonna get up at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning again so same routine as today no sleep for me on weekends anyway, I'll survive and I'll thank you again for watching and I'll see you tomorrow, bye bye Thank you.